what is going on guys name is here bringing you a brand new video and today we're going to be going over my power rankings going into stage three this is where i have these teams placed it's obviously going to be a little bit different than the last power rankings video that i had i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video uh, we're gonna go down the list and maybe your favorite team moved up a spot we'll find out coming in at the number 12 spot i'm gonna go with the los angeles gorillas uh i see here's the thing Gorillas, they've had good moments, but their consistency has not been there. I think they're like a change away from being a solid team that can have upset potential. Uh, right now, they do have a couple solid wins, like the one over phase, most notably. Uh, I think that that was just a, a really crazy fluke upset. Um, but I do have Gorillas at number 12. Uh, they underperformed when they got into the stage two major. And throughout the season, they're really not that great as well. Um, I don't really think there's much more to be said other than that they're not consistent and they probably need one change uh just to test the waters uh which player should that be it's yet to be known but there are players out there that you can try and grab like you can get a slasher uh possibly like if you can throw some money out there and maybe uh get him on your squad he can improve you a ton uh there's just players available man that they could pick up that could make them a lot better all right moving in at number 11 i have the london royal ravens and i do know that they just picked up zaptia so i don't know how good their team is going to be but i'm hearing great things about him uh they go into the major and they underperform i believe they lost their match here let me look this up real quick yep they lost their match uh their first match to the la thieves uh, and a 3-2 loss that a lot of people had London winning. They just maybe got overwhelmed by the new Thieves roster. Uh, they didn't really know how well the Thieves team would play. I definitely thought London had that. They showed good moments uh, when they picked up Paul X. But, you know, only winning two games is not enough to put you higher up on this list. So I still have them at 11. I believe I had them 12 in the last video. So they've made a one place jump. All right, moving on to number 10, I have the Paris Legion. Now Paris lost their first match 3-0 to the LA Thieves, but we all know what this team is capable of individually. They've had phenomenal moments throughout the season. And I think that if they, when they replace Fire, now that they have Temp, they should get a lot better. Uh, I think Temp just brings more to a team than Fire. Uh, Fire definitely has a bright future in Call of Duty, but he just was not ready for that level of gameplay yet uh or just not comfortable on that team so bringing temp in i think that they should improve tremendously uh so i have them in that in that 10th spot and i also think that was indicative of where they were with fire as well uh, but i can't put them lower or higher than that i think they're right in the money uh number nine i have the florida mutineers now this team has been up and down but they are competitive versus nearly everybody that they play rarely does this team get blown out they play their first match in a 3-0 lag in a dominating series then they play seattle and they fall three to one versus a new and improved Seattle. Now they have phenomenal players. Skies goes off at times, Awakening goes off at times, but it just seems like they never put it together at the exact same time. They make these mistakes in search and destroy as well, where Awakening's always the last guy alive. He's not always involved in the play, which is something that I think they need to go back and reevaluate, maybe getting him more involved because he does have a ton of gun skill and playmaking ability. Um, they just fall like flies, man. So it's just, just little gameplay things that they need to fix. And also they bring in Havoc. So Maybe they find more success with him, but I think I'm comfortable putting them in that number nine spot. Now, in the number eight spot, I have the Seattle Surge, a team that has completely turned it around. I mean, they have a solid run. They beat Florida. They fall to Chicago. They end up getting top eight. And the Surge throughout the season, they started to get a lot better. And that was off the back of Prasini and Gunless, who started to perform way better than they were in stage one. Gunless turned into one of the you know, all-stars of the game. And then Prasini started to dominate series, actually like take over at times and then become consistent. So big shout out to Prasini for that turnaround. And I'm just happy to see their continued success. They look like a team that is growing, a team that is refined and hard point. They don't make too many mistakes, man. Like if they lose, it's rare. It's because basically they got held down. A team is holding a hill. They couldn't win the gunfights to break. Like they don't take the crazy risks that other teams take. They play discipline. You can hear it in their listenings. If you go to their matches, they play sound call of duty and they're improving with each and every match and that's what i like to see out of a team with veterans like seattle now in my number seven slot i have the la thieves i think that uh the change they made was phenomenal nobody really expected it it's a bunch of a bunch of aggressive players they moved kenny to the main ar and that aggression worked well man they had a, a crazy run here at the stage two major they 3-0 paris and they 3-2 london and they 3-0 new york being the most notable win and they run into the hot toronto where they lose 3-0 but I love the turnaround that they made on virtually no practice to be able to do that is incredible draza phenomenal play throughout the tournament up until their last match you look at kenny in that main ar position he looks comfortable he looks fluid and the rest of the guys started to step up i mean you saw venom have some really big clutch moments i think he's getting more comfortable sometimes it takes time and for him it only took about a week and a half and he started to play well and then 
you hear these guys talk about their team and they say that the communication is great for being such a short team that hasn't had a lot of time to be able to uh, communicate at that level i think is great so they're vibing all around i put them at number seven number six i have optic i think optic has taken a few steps back uh I, but here's the thing optic they were in a terrible place about two weeks ago. They were not doing anything. Like they were literally getting 3-0'd, 3-0'd smoked, beat on hard point, beat on control, like modes that they should not be losing. They were getting smoked there. Their, their S&D looked horrendous. And then they turned it around, right? In the major, I don't think they played that bad. Uh, I actually really enjoyed watching Formal step up and take over that leadership role. You could tell he was sort of commanding the troops. I think Envoy was in a rut during the stage she major. I think that he has a lot to work on going forward, but we know what he's capable of. That guy can literally be the best in the game. He just needs to figure it out. I mean, he's getting caught in really bad spots. And then Scump, I mean, I think he's been solid. A lot of people talk about his performance. I, I really don't hate how he's playing. Uh, I just look at the squad and, and I think that there's a few moments that them and the coaches need to go over and figure out and have a plan going into these matches. Like they've done it step by step. They've had Dashy play more discipline and search and destroy. That has worked out and hard point when shit hits the fan and things and they start going down they need to know how to just completely give up a hill turn it around set up and execute properly there were a couple times where they used their streaks like on that garrison where they use their streaks to try to get into bricks and they didn't execute it properly at the right time that should be a strategy like every time if we have a streak it is used on this hill and this hill only unless it's a dire situation you have a plan on how to do that right so the communication doesn't get crazy uh, it's just little little fine-tuning things that the top echelon teams do that optic isn't doing right now uh, but i think they have a lot on their plate with that being said i have them at number six um and i think that they can move up quickly and number five i have the new york subliners i like this roster uh they were going through a lot of things and they end up losing the la thieves 3-0 but i think new york has a lot more to offer than that i'm not going to judge them on one match after they've played a multitude of matches and they look phenomenal throughout asim is his best title yet clayster's playing phenomenal they're gonna most likely replace diamond con and their team just gets way better in my opinion so i'm excited to see this new york roster and i have them at number five which i think is one or two slots down from my last video number four i have rocker standy man oh man standy he comes in changes the entire dynamic of this team i mean this guy is just such an elusive player he's so aggressive i mean he's the next closest thing to a bz that we have in the league and he's turned this team around accuracy started to play a lot better attach is comfortable in his role you're just looking at a new and improved team that can contend with the best of them they have the best series in call of duty and uh, accuracy with that huge play just catapulted them forward to being an extremely confident and competent team their battles versus empire their battles versus optic are absolutely unreal <laughs> excuse me and i'm just excited to see where they go they definitely have championship caliber uh, material on that team number three the toronto ultra toronto ultra their run was next to incredible was nothing less than incredible uh these guys they caught fire man on that final day like you look at their their matches that they played like they beat la thieves they beat minnesota 3-1 they beat dallas 3-1 they beat atlanta 5-3 they beat everybody on their road to riches man like these guys caught absolute fire dude it was mind-blowing for you guys for you stands in the chat and you know i'm just happy for this team vance turned it around dude he was the mvp of the tournament he had a huge giant performances especially in those s and d's where he was struggling before he started to turn it around in the hard point he's pulling out ar switching to subs just doing whatever you want to get comfortable on the map and their teamwork was there kleenex absolute dominance in control that aggression is unbelievable i put him up there with sandy and abizi for those aggressive type players he fits the mold and Tammy, that consistent player who gets it done insight in the s and d's picking up those kills those long range gunfights like they're all doing their job they're a sound team their communication is calm it's never crazy and it works for them that being said i put them at number three just because they haven't been consistent throughout stage one and stage two was unreal but it leads me to number two i have empire their consistency top two then top three still figuring it out getting better at search and destroy you're seeing shotzi now become that beast of the team it's not hook it's Shotzi now. Hook's playing great, but Shotzi has stepped up. So once they both figure it out at the same time, they are going to be unbelievable. Krim had some amazing maps, amazing performances and series. I'm very excited for this team, man. Illy and Search and Destroy, much better stage two than stage one. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So stage three might be where we see them take that next level. But I have them at number two. And then number one, I have FaZe still. And here's why. You can't completely judged them off of that one match they still played great three wanting toronto on their first time playing them three wanting dallas in their next match and then losing three to five toronto caught fireman it is what it is they played way better than phase but phase 
is a consistent animal in this league and i still have to put them at number one i'm picking phase over most of these teams i don't think most of these teams can upset phase but i think some of these teams are still going to be able to beat toronto and upset toronto that being said i have phase there in my number one slot you can't go against simp of easy rcds and Sally man they're just too damn good uh but one thing is for sure they can be beaten that margin has closed and phase now has a lot to worry about with some of these rosters but anyways that is my power rankings headed into stage three hope you guys enjoy this video and keep in mind there's an update coming out with some new maps and things like that so these could get all changed man but either way it's just my opinion you guys can think whatever you want to think leave the comments below what you thought of this and uh much love and appreciation see you in the next breakdown video